Money Management Billionaire hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones has once said that in this business, you need to see yourself not as a trader, but rather as a risk manager. There are hundreds of different ways to manage your risk and manage your own money, and it all really comes down to preference. However, you need to have some sort of money management system to be profitable in the FX trading. Believe it or not, this is probably the most important lecture in this course, because you need to manage your risk to be able to have success. If you manage the risk, you have an excellent chance of making money in the Forex market. Basically, money management will tell you how large your position should be, but it will also tell you how much money you can make or lose at any given time because you've already estimated your risk in advance. Proper application of the principles taught through this article will make the career of a new trader. However, not following any money management principles will break the career of a new trader. The good news is that it's easy to understand as there is nothing complicated about money management. Money management is a phrase that is kind of a basket term for several different things that we look at as traders. We can basically break money management into four items as follows. 1. Expectancy 2. Risk planning 3. Stop losses 4. Position sizing Positive expectancy Another important thing you need to learn about your trading system is your expectancy. The best traders in the world only get about 50% or even less of their trades right. The difference is that they only take trades that have much greater reward compared with the risk taken. In other words, they have a positive risk to reward ratio which leads us to expectancy. Expectancy is one of the most important factors in your success as a trader. In simple terms, trade expectancy is the average amount you can expect to win or lose on each individual trade. Let's take one step further and see how you can calculate the expectancy of your trading system. Expectancy equals probability of win percentage times average money win minus probability of loss percentage times average money loss. For example, let's assume that our average trader Joe has figured out he wins on average 45% of the time, and on average that equates in dollar terms about $600 per trade but at the same time, he loses 55% of the time, which on average we'll assume it translates into $250 loss per trade. So what's Joe's expectancy? Expectancy equals 45% times $600 minus 55% times $250 equals $207 minus $135.50 equals $132.50. As you can see, Joe has a positive expectancy, so even if you produce losing trades 55% of the time, it might be frustrating, but has positive expectancy which means it will make money over time. Risk Planning What we're trying to plan is not necessarily your trade, which needs to be part of your analysis and trading plan, but we try to plan our risk. This means that we want to maintain consistency with the risk we take. If you're consistent as a trader, that's one of the biggest hurdles that you can overcome and it can only be done right from day one if you're thoughtful about it. Essentially, planning your risk refers to how much of your trading account or portfolio you are willing to risk. So, the next logical question should be how much should I risk? Well, ultimately, the answer to this question is a personal preference and it comes down to your risk tolerance. However, Professional money managers recommend not risking more than 2% on any particular trading idea. It is not uncommon to see aggressive traders risking in the 5% to 10% range, so their risk tolerance is much higher, but plenty of traders stick to the 1% to 2% risk per trade of their account balance. One of the things you'll find in common is that the less you risk per trade, typically the more positions you're able to take at any particular time. However, the more you have at risk inherently you'll be inclined to take fewer trades. The risk per trade is something that you'll probably begin to refine over time, but don't try to ramp it up too fast until you've got some good trading experience behind you. How to determine the risk dollar amount is simple. Risk dollar amount equals account size times percentage risk. For example, if your account balance is $10,000 and your risk tolerance is 2%, your dollar risk amount is $200 per trade. 
Risk amount equals $10,000 times 2% equals $200. We now know that if the trade goes against us, the most you'll lose is $200. This will help you manage the mental part of trading and with the stress level because you already know in advance how much you're going to make if the trade goes in your favor or how much you're going to lose if the trade goes against you. Stop losses. Having a stop loss in place to protect you from catastrophic losses is very important. A stop loss is not arbitrary, but it's based on a specific price point that will prove you're wrong on your trade idea. For example, if you have an entry opportunity at a certain point and you know that the market is volatile and it could move against you, you have to determine at what point will your analysis be wrong. Is it 50 pips from your entry level? Is it 100 pips from your entry level? The answer is that your stop loss will vary based on what your analysis is. What is important here is that when the unexpected happens, you have an emergency net that catches your money if such a thing occurs. So, you shouldn't trade without a stop loss. Always remember to protect your bottom line and honor your stop loss because the market will be here tomorrow and the next week or month and there will always be another trading opportunity to make money. Position Sizing Position sizing specifically refers to how much should I risk or how big a particular trade should be. Is it arbitrary? Or should you always be buying 5 lots or 1 lot? There are several ways you can determine how big that position should be. It all comes down to the underlying principle of money management, which is what you can do to make sure that you're as consistent as possible. It's entirely under your control to be able to accomplish this particular objective. In order to be able to calculate our position sizing, we need to know three things. One, account size. Two, how much of that account you want to risk, percentage-wise. We have examined this under the risk planning section. Three, stop loss. Now, from here, calculating how much we actually want to risk is quite simple. So, let's walk through that calculation. For the purpose of this example, we're going to operate with a fictional account size of $10,000. Let's say that our risk tolerance is 2% per trade, and based on our analysis, we figure out that we need a 50 pips stop loss. The basic formula for calculating your position size is, position size equals account size times percent risk per trade divided by stop loss. In our case, our position size would be 4 mini lots. Position size equals $10,000 times 2% divided by 50, $200 divided by 50 equals 4. This was easy. What we have accomplished is that it makes sure that we're not unintentional or erratically trade too much in any one particular trade or, potentially, just as bad, too little on any one position. You'll never know which of your trades will be good and which of your trades will be bad in advance. So, position sizing will help you be very consistent and when you're making your trading decisions, you're much more likely to take a trade with a position size that is consistent with your risk tolerance and with your market analysis. Summary Money management is one of the most important parts of your trading activities because it will ensure you're going to survive throughout the ups and downs of your trades. Your number one priority as a trader should be capital protection because profits do care of themselves. The main advantage of implementing risk parameters into your strategy is that it will allow you to be in control of your emotions because you already determined how much you're going to lose before jumping into a trade. Money management is going to allow you to trade in a smart way and give you the flexibility to choose how much you want to beat in a way that will allow you to make the most out of each trade. Thank you for reading.